Lesson 11.3d, Using Multiplication to Solve Equations, Inverse Operations. When an equation contains division, we can solve it by using multiplication, the opposite operation. Since multiplication is an inverse operation of division, it will help us isolate the variable to one side of the equal sign. The multiplication property of equality says we can multiply both sides of an equation by the same number and the two sides will remain equal. We have x divided by 5 is equal to 3. We have division because of the fraction bar. So we multiply both sides by this denominator 5. We can write the 5 over 1 so it's easier to multiply straight across. We get 5x over 5 is equal to 15. And 5 over 5, same numerator and denominator, that makes a 1. We have 1x, but we don't write the 1 as a coefficient, do we? x is equal to 15. Now some of you may be thinking, why can't we just solve by multiplying the denominator by the quotient? That'll work. We can multiply 5 times 6 to get 30, and know that 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. Yes, though this will show us the value of n, the purpose of this lesson is to show us how we can solve algebraic equations by eliminating terms to isolate the variable. That's the purpose of this lesson. Knowing how to eliminate terms to isolate the variable will help you in the future when the algebraic equations involve more terms and more variables. In this equation, we have y as a numerator, 4 as the denominator, we have y divided by 4 is equal to 7. It's the same as y divided by 4 is equal to 7. We have division, so we can use multiplication, the inverse of division, to isolate y. We multiply both sides of the equal sign by the denominator 4. We can write 4 as a 4 over 1 to make it easier to multiply straight across. We get 4y over 4 is equal to 28. And we have a 4 over a 4. That's equal to 1. We don't write the 1, just the variable. We know this is a 1. We have 1y. We don't write 1 when it's a coefficient. We see that y is equal to 28. And 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7. Here it's telling us to solve and graph the solution on a number line. We have a divided by 6 is equal to 12. We multiply both sides of the equation, 6, as an inverse operation. We have a 6 over a 1 to make it easy to multiply straight across. That's 6 times a over 1 times 6. And on the other side, we have 12 times 6. That's going to give us 6a over 6 is equal to 72. And 6 over 6 is equal to 1. But we don't write 1 as a coefficient. We have a is equal to 72. And we can graph it on a number line. We make sure there's a couple of marks after it or before it so it's not on the edge of the number line. And we plot it as 72. And we can check our answer. We can substitute 72 for a. 72 divided by 6 is equal to 12. So yes, we know we did it correctly. So we saw how to isolate the variable when it was the numerator. If the variable is the denominator, we still multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. Then we isolate the variable with division. We have 32 divided by x is equal to 8. We multiply both sides of the equation by x. We can write x over 1 to make it easier to multiply straight across. And here we have x times 32. We know the variable goes to the right and the coefficient is on the left. So we write 32x, and that's over 1x. We see x over x. Doesn't matter what the value of x is, it's going to be the same value. We know that's a 1. Now we have 32 times 1, which is 32 on this side, and we have 8x on this side. Now we have a multiplication equation that we solve with division. We divide both sides of the equal sign by the coefficient 8, and 32 divided by 8 is 4, and 
8 over 8 is a 1, so we've got our buddy the 1 here, that makes 1x, but we don't write 1 as a coefficient. We have 4 is equal to x. So to solve an equation using an inverse operation, we look at the sign in the equation. If we see a plus sign for addition, we use subtraction to solve. If we see a subtraction sign, we use addition to solve. When we see a coefficient next to a variable, we know that's multiplication. We use division to solve. And when we see the fraction bar, we know that is division. We use multiplication to solve. We finish the fourth part of the lesson. We're going to move on to 11.3e, using equations to solve problems. That's word problems. So just remember, solve it using the opposite operation. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you'll join me for the next lesson. Bye.